Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about seven fictional places that I would like to visit. One of the reasons why I love reading is because it allows me to experience so many things that I wouldn't be able to experience in real life and also just it would allow me to go to many different places as well and I think every time I pick up a new book, I feel like my world has just become a little bit bigger and broader and that is just one of the most exhilarating things ever. So today I just want to talk about seven fictional places that really just intrigues me and just makes me want to go there so badly. And as you can see, I'm filming in a different place today. I'm just taking a chill and filming right by my bed with my little dog to keep me company. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be ranking these places from seventh place to first place. The first place is like the place that I want to go to the most. So coming up at seventh place is Terrasen in Eralea from the book from the Throne of Glass series. So Terrasen is located in the north of the kingdom of Eralea and it is um, it is a very beautiful country that is mostly composed of lush green meadows and forests and it's just very beautiful. And um, when I was reading this book, the landscape itself just really intrigued me and there was there's this big library located in Terrasen called the Library of Orinth and I just really want to go there. Number six, I'm not sure if it's a place, but it's an airship called the Aurora from the Airborne series by Kenneth Opal. I don't think airships really exist today, um, but in that book, airships are like very common in, in the Airborne trilogy. And the thing about airships is that it's a lot more spacious than airplanes. And on the airship Aurora, it's got huge like living quarters and dining rooms and large walkways and you can also go up to this area where you can see the view and I just think it's so cool to be on an airship it's like it's literally like a cruise ship but you're in the air Number five is actually any Shadowhunter Institute in general so Shadowhunter Institutes are can be found in all of I think all of Cassandra Clare's books and I've mentioned in a few videos before that shadow hunters are half are mortals with angel blood who whose main goal in life is to slay demons and a shadow hunter institute is where where shadow hunters train do their training to um, learn different combat skills to kill demons and they also learn about learn more about shadow hunter history in the institute so the institute also has like living spaces and huge libraries it's like a home and a school and a training area combined into one and i think that is just very intriguing and i would really love to visit their weapons room where they have an assortment of all sorts of weapons that would be such a blast Number four is The Kingdom of Araluen from the Ranger's Apprentice series by John Flanagan. So I think The Kingdom of Araluen is a fictional kingdom, but it's based on uh, the United Kingdom, I think, specifically England. And it's just very beautiful. And I especially want to visit a ranger hut. So a ranger hut is where rangers live and it's always made it's always like a wooden, small wooden hut and it just feels so cozy. It's got like a fireplace and it's small but so nice and warm. As you know, rangers often roam around the kingdom. They don't often stay in their house, but a ranger hut is like their anchor. It's like a place where they can always call home and throughout all their adventures, this is where they can turn back to. Number three is Hogwarts from the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. And I know weird things always happen in Hogwarts and there are some 
really mean professors. And there's also the problem of Voldemort. But nevertheless, I still really want to go to Hogwarts. I feel like it would be so cool to take some of their courses, like learning about magical creatures with Hagrid, or learning about potions, or defense against the dark arts. Just a fun fact, I study in, I currently study in university, and I always, there are always so many courses I want to take, but always so little time. So while I was reading Harry Potter, I really just, I wanted Hermione's time turner so bad so so that I can take all the classes I want. It's Leviosa! Yes, I am crazy like that. But anyways, besides the magical courses in Hogwarts, I would also want, I would also love to eat in their large dining room and and it would be so fun to see a Quidditch game. Number two is Middle Earth from The Lord of the Rings. I think I'm cheating on this one because Middle Earth is massive and there are so many places there, but and I want to go to all of them. Maybe excluding Isengard and Mordor, I think I'll pass on those two, but I would just love to go to Rivendell and Lothlorien to see the elves and to hear the elves tinkling laughter, have a taste of the magical Lembus bread, and maybe just listen to some of their music and songs. But sometimes I think I have a feeling that elves could be a little bit too serene and aloof, so I'm probably going to feel quite out of place if I ever go there, but I think the place that I would actually feel more at home would be the Shire because um, I feel like hobbits would be a lot more um, chill and relaxed. I think they would really welcome you in and it would be so fun to join one of their parties or or have a meal with them. I'm pretty sure they're going to stuff my face with so much food that, that I'm gonna burst. And I think it would be just so cool to um, experience the Hobbit's way of life. I would also love to go to Rohan to see the horses and of course to Gondor because Aragorn, need I say more? So now, Coming up at first place is Narnia from by C.S. Lewis. I think Narnia is the dreamland that I've always wanted to go to ever since I was a little child. And I still dream about it and I remember me going into my little closet as a child and and hoping that one day when I put my hand to the side of the closet, I would feel pine trees instead of clothes and feel the cold breeze of the snow. But of course it never happened, but I still dream about it sometimes. And I feel like there would always be a part of me that, that longs to go to Narnia. And I feel like Narnia, in Narnia, you can put away all the stress of daily life and just be a child and talk to all the animals and hopefully meet Aslan, the great lion and the king of Narnia. Um, talking about these fictional worlds make me feel so wholesome inside. I know I'm never going to go be able to go to these places in real life, but in a sense, I've been there because when you read a book, you are experiencing the world along with the author and you're building the world along with the author. And I feel like that's the magic of reading. When you read a book, it becomes a part of you and it becomes a part of your universe. And just like what Dumbledore once said, just because it's in your imagination doesn't make it less real. So keep reading guys and make your universe expand because it is limitless. So that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this, this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!